Okay, for this video, we're in the town of Swindon, which is in the county of Wiltshire. Now, Swindon is a decent place for the most part, but like all large towns and cities, it has some rough areas. So I wanted to find out what the worst and most dangerous road in Swindon is, and that led me here, to Manchester Road. Now I'm not just throwing shade on Manchester Road out of nowhere, or just because it looks rough, and it does look rough. This is based on me asking friends who live in Swindon, chatting with some of the locals, and doing some online research. And the facts are that Manchester Road and some of the smaller roads connected to it just kept coming up over and over as being a crime and antisocial hotspot the red light district for Swindon, and more. To show you what I mean, let's take a look at some of the stats. First of all, Wiltshire Police grouped their stats for Manchester Road in the Broad Street area. But as you can see, that's a tiny area, it's less than a mile wide, and less than half a mile the other way, and Manchester Road runs central through it. There are anywhere between 50 and 70 reported crimes in a given month. But I do have to pat the bobbies on the back here and point out that there's been a clear drop in the crime rate over the last year. So it's possible that they've put together a plan or a task force to clean up this area. That can only be a good thing. Most of the crimes are violent offences and antisocial behaviour, which is typical for an area like this near the town centre. It's some of the headlines that really helps to bring some of this to life though. Stabbing seems to be fairly common in and around Manchester Road. There have been numerous incidents over the years from minor stabbings to murder and even multiple stabbings in one day. Obviously theft is also a common occurrence and who knows what else goes on that doesn't get reported. Something else that makes Manchester Road stand out and attracts some savoury characters is that it's listed as Swindon's red light district on Wikipedia, along with the area of Gorse Hill, which we'll be covering in a separate video soon and you don't want to miss that one. But a word of warning for anyone thinking about going down late at night there for a good time. I found various news reports about honey traps being set. And honestly, it's remarkable that victims even report these to the police, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's way more common than we think. Negatives aside, Manchester Road is a support line to the community there. There's a laundrette, some barber shops, a few convenience stores selling different world foods, and some other useful amenities. You just need to be sensible and watch your back if you don't want to become part of the crime statistics. It's as simple as that. Oh, and for some reason, if I've sold this area to you and you want to move to Manchester Road, at the time of filming, there were two bed terrace houses going for around 200,000 and three beds for around 270,000, which in today's climate isn't a bad price. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please take the time to press the like and subscribe buttons before you go and feel free to leave a comment below. You can even suggest roads and areas for us to visit if you think they'll be of interest to our audience. If you enjoyed this video, I like seeing other interesting locations around the UK. You'll see some video suggestions popping up on the screen now. Have a great day.